You'd be hard pressed to find an election issue stirring up as much controversy and as much emotion as one that's on the ballot of Maui. And it involves GMO and a temporary moratorium that could have wide ranging effects. This one, of course, being closely watched by many. And KITV4's Brenton Awal went to the Valley Isle for some first person perspectives. This initiative truly has zero aloha. You may have seen the ads. And vote no on the initiative. This They're all over local TV taking a stand against the GMO initiative, a measure that will be up for vote by the people of Maui County on next month's ballot. The Maui County farming ban is a full misdemeanor. These commercials are being paid for by the citizens against the Maui County farming ban. They want residents to vote no in November, claiming that roughly 600 local farmers could lose their jobs if a moratorium on GMO is put into place. When I talk about people losing their jobs, we're talking about human beings. We're talking about our friends, our neighbors, people we go to church with. Those statements don't sit well with the group called the Shaka Movement. Its members pushed for this measure to make it on the ballot. The moratorium would temporarily suspend any open field GMO and pesticide use on Maui. The group says its main concern is health, not jobs, claiming that no family farmers are affected, just big names like Monsanto and Dow, the agriculture and chemical companies, respectively. When does jobs enter in the picture of science, the risk and benefit of science? It doesn't. It doesn't. Furthermore, the group claims that there's no need for job loss as large farms can switch back to non GMO crops. But the pro GMO group says in the future that might not be an option. It may need GMO to combat drought, pests, and other problems. By taking away this tool for our farmers, it puts them in jeopardy from future uh, problems that we cannot foresee. And by limiting that ability, it will put our farmers in jeopardy. The pro GMO group cites 1,700 studies saying there's no scientific evidence of harm to humans who eat genetically modified food. The Shaka group says those studies are skewed and wants to see testing done on Maui. Prove to the people that the practice and issues is safe. That's all. If it's safe, then okay. Their field operations just behind the highway. Monsanto has several fields near Kihei. Some Maui residents are concerned about runoff, seepage, and wind blowing both GMO seeds and pesticides used on those fields onto naturally farmed fields, or worse, into the community. They don't want to take any risks when it comes to public health and point to a mistake from the past. A lot of people use hindsight in the days when asbestos, and they said asbestos was safe. Well, we have a lot of uh, uncles that worked in those shipyards and they came home with that dust and they all, no longer with us, died from some form of cancer. But GMO advocates maintain their farming style is safe and the real harm would only come to our economy. So you're talking about widespread consequences here, economic consequences that's going to affect many people and a large segment of Maui County. On Maui. Brenton Owa, KITV4 News.